In this video, I'm going to be showing that um, you can actually see the curvature of the towers that Stanley has photographed many times from Google Street View, which I found surprising. So while I was doing research for my previous video regarding the birds, I actually found out you can actually see the curvature from Street View. But you have to be in a specific point. So you have to be as oblique as you can be to the towers. If you're not oblique enough, you won't be able to see the curvature. So let's have a look here. This is the first tower and these are the towers. So we're going to zoom in. Turn. Now, in this particular one, we're not yet oblique enough to the towers. So you can't really see curvature with from street, Google Street View. However, if we move one step closer to being more oblique, so let's move one step. Oh, we move too much. Let's move back. Oh. Let's have a look. I just want to move one step. All right, I think that's it. Now, we're much more oblique to the towers. You can actually see curvature. If you look carefully, you can see curvature there. You can see that? Now, you can actually see curvature from the other side as well. So let's move up another few steps. Over here, you won't be able to see it because the, pole, the pole's in the way. Here, let's have a look. Sometimes it doesn't do what you want it to do. Where is it? Not too far down the road. All right, let's have a look over here. Okay, here we have the towers. I'm gonna zoom in. And over here, there's some sort of, um, yeah, the, the footage here is not perfect. So what we'll do is we'll go move up another step all right let's try this one and actually here you can see curvature so you can see curvature on both sides of the tower exactly as soundly shows so here we're seeing curvature on the bottom of the towers before the horizon and as soundly shows in his footage if you are oblique enough to the towers, you can see the curvature before the horizon. Um, if you drive a bit further, if you're not as oblique, you can start seeing curvature after the horizon at the top of the towers. But if you are oblique enough to the towers, you can see curvature before the horizon. And, and this is what we're seeing in Google Earth. So you have to be in the exact correct position to be able to see the curvature of, of the towers before the horizon. If you Move a, if we move one more step, I think that's already too much. Let's have a look. Here we are. And now it's now you can't really see the curvature before the horizon. So, if, but if you had a strong Google, if you had a strong camera, you should be able to see the curvature even from this angle, on top of the towers meaning after the horizon, but this is not oblique enough to be able to see the curvature before the horizon. So this is Stanley's footage driving east to west Lake Pontchartrain, and you can start, you can see curvature before the horizon. So let's zoom in. All right, you, you can clearly see curvature before the horizon as he's driving closer.
the curvature becomes more and more apparent before the horizon. So as, you, as he's driving closer, there's clear curvature before the horizon. And the fact that you need to be oblique to the towers, as oblique as you can, to be able to detect the curvature, tells us that um, the footage that shows no curvature um, wasn't yet wasn't oblique enough, and we can I can improve that. All right. Now this footage from Johnny Oops Flat Earth Proof Lake Pontchartrain. He, he takes a picture of these towers, and it seems you can't see curvature um, very well. Now, one of the reasons why you can't see the curvature as clearly as Downley's footage is because he's not very oblique. He's not oblique enough to the towers. And we're going to prove this. So let's go like this. And we're going to be able to triangulate. Using these gaps, we can actually triangulate exactly where this car was when this picture was taken, and we can show the car wasn't yet oblique enough to be able to detect the curvature at the bottom of the of the towers. So if you do get oblique to these towers, you can see the curvature, but you need to be as oblique as possible, and we can prove that this car wasn't as oblique as possible. It was in a position that wasn't very oblique. So one thing we can look at is I'm going to triangulate this car. This is the square tower. This is the first, second, third, fourth. Now what we can see is that the fourth tower, the left leg of the fourth tower, intersects, the line of sight intersects with the right leg of the third tower. So if we can draw a line from the fourth tower's left leg, left of the leg of the fourth tower to just slightly to the right of the leg, of the third tower, that will tell us exactly where this car or this camera was situated on the road um, when this photo was taken. And we can, once we do that, we can figure out where it was and um, use that to see if that was a place where you should have seen the curvature or not. So, if we go into Google Street View, what we need to do is find the fourth tower, draw a line on the fourth tower leg. So this, these two things are the legs of the fourth tower. That's the top of the tower. These two are things of the leg. And I've drawn a line. I'll put it in. So here I've drawn a line from the left of the fourth tower. And it has to intersect. It needs to intersect just to the right of the third tower. All right, so that's what it's doing here. And then draw that out to the road. And as you can see, this is a position where the footage was taken from around here to see these towers. Now, if we put a man on Google Street View where he was situated, all right, and you zoom in, you can't really see the curvature. So, if any flat earthers want to see the curvature of the towers, what you need to do is make sure that you're quite near this post over here. See this post? You need to be quite near that post around here to be able to see the curvature well. If you get too far away, you won't be able to see the curvature as clearly. So this um, is a tip for flat earthers. If you want to go see this footage, these towers, make sure that you take the footage from the correct position. If you're not oblique enough, you will not see as much curvature as if you were oblique. So make sure you're in the correct position um, when you take your footage, because if you're not, you're not going to be able to see much curvature. As you can see here, there's quite a bit of a gap. You want these gaps closed.